Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. All right, hey, so it had been a minute uh, since I'd purchased a new Kendama and I'll be honest, it's been probably a minute since I've like picked up a Kendama seriously. I probably pick it up like once a week or so. So, you know, not seriously, you know, you get that grind. If you've ever uh, kind of been like infatuated with a, like a new skill toy and you get that sort of like, oh, I can't stop playing this. I can't stop learning new things. That's kind of how I was uh, last summer. Uh, and um, I'm kind of getting back on that. I, I knew that like Kendama was something I was certainly gonna pick back up, but nothing spurs you on more to kind of like for trick growth sometimes. Again, it probably depends on your personality, but buying something new, <laughs> not just because we're a consumer culture, I get that. But what I mean here is like, just it gives you just, I don't know, just inspiration. I think some of you get that. And it's not just to like, I'm not just telling you to go buy something if you're in a rut, but I did that. <laughs> so uh, this is from Analog. I love Analog. I've had a number of their kendamas. This is their, uh, their one of their newer shapes. Uh, this is the, the Squib, uh, the 2021 updated version of that. It's in full bamboo, which I don't, I've owned one other bamboo kendama. And so we're gonna talk about that. This is the uh, Snot Rocket. Uh, that's the colorway here. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the uh, Snot Rocket. Thank you, thank you, or TYTY. -Ty, uh, uh, analog here. All right, let's get into it. Uh, so like I said, full bamboo construction. So bamboo Tama, uh, Tama and bamboo uh, Ken. Uh, just full disclosure though, I did replace the string here, the string that came out of the bag, uh, which was like a seven plus finger string. So uh, nice length here uh, with some Adrian Esteban string. I, I, I do that with every Kendama. I love his string. And so I do replace all of my string uh, even if it's good, you know, like it was fine. It was just a standard black string with a bearing as well. Uh, and, uh, but I, I did replace this. So that's really the only difference here. So it's a little longer string. You know, this is probably like a 10 finger, nine to 10 finger string uh, on it currently. So it's a little long game uh, version of that. So I said squib, I mean squab, squib, squab, squib. I don't know, squab. Anyways, that's what we're talking about. It's the 2021 squab. So it is a little updated. They said on their site, the, the cups are just ever so slightly larger. Um, here, here's, here's one of the things that's kind of the best about it though, is you see that space there, right? Uh, right, it sets just so nice uh, in the Serrata there. Really sets really nice. You have very little gap there at, like, at all. Like it just sits really nice, the Tama there. And so that, that's, that's nice. Again, cups are a little larger. I really, one of the things I really like about analog, two things particularly about their shape, uh, it's a nice kind of like, it's beefy-er, right? Uh, but it's not super over large, but I feel like it's just a nice modern shape that doesn't like really like give you too much of a gimmickly large feel. But it, this, I feel like the sword's longer, the handle's really nice and long for a longer hand, hand right? A larger hand like myself, right? So that's, that's nice. It feels really good on the grip. Doesn't extend too far really at all, but it doesn't kind of feel like, I feel like sometimes I'm gripping like this, you know? And uh, for larger hands, that's kind of nice. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, uh, does have some simple branding here, right? It has uh, their logo here on the bottom. Uh, and then it also has a little branding here on the uh, large cup as well, like underneath. All right, can you see that? Oh, there we go. There we go. And then right here, it has in a couple different languages, thank you, uh, in, the, uh, in the base cup. So. One of the other things I really appreciate about them, I like the base cup hole a lot. I like the design of that. Uh, it's just really nice. Uh, but I also really like what they've done with the sword. The spike on the sword, I, I'm not a big fan of like uber sharp spikes just because that, that lasts for what? Like two seconds? Even if you glue it, right? Which I, I don't usually glue my spikes. I know some people do, it's fine if you do. Uh, I've just never been in the habit of doing that. Uh, and uh, it just doesn't last. And I feel like I've not had an issue. I have a, another one that the, the sword is maple uh, and it, it just, it takes a beating. Uh, bamboo is gonna take quite a bit of beating as well. So this is gonna be a long lasting Ken uh, as compared to maybe something softer like Beechwood. All right, so the Tama here, uh, it comes in this, uh, it's a, one of the original colorways from them apparently. Uh, so this is this is kind of before my time of getting the Kendama, but this is the snot rocket. Uh, you, you definitely see that kind of like, you know, snot green, right? And it has a fluorescent yellow. That's why I chose the Adrian Esteban string, right? Uh, for tracking, it also has three marks there, which uh, each are for how old they are as a company. So they're, I guess they're three years old. So yeah, before my time as far as Ken, uh, Kendama. Uh, but yeah, nice for tracking. It's going to do really well for that. It is a sticky, um, clear, you know, kind of uh, vibe. I might end up 
switching out the Tama on this. Uh, I have a, um, actually I have it right here. Uh, I have an Okandama I've had and I've seshed this quite a bit. And um, here, let me get you a better look. But uh, I like I like their their uh, Rev Clear quite a bit. Um, it's fantastic. So I might end up switching that. Uh, I also ask, and, and you can do this by the way, uh, most of the time companies like Analog will grant you this. When you purchase something, put in the comments what kind of weight you want. So I ask for like a mid 70 to low 70 weight uh, and it, it's like 74. <laughs> it's like, it's exactly what I asked for. Each of these are about uh, about a gram apart. Uh, the, the Ken's like a gram heavier than the Tama. So it's almost perfectly weight matched. So not a big deal. So it's gonna be great for those juggles and things like that that you're working on. All right, so that uh, that is the, um, yeah, that's analog there for you. If you've not checked out analog, man, definitely check them out. They still have a, some of these in stock, I believe. Uh, there's a couple different uh, wood variations. I really like the, uh, the bamboo version. It looks cool and it really is gonna take a beating. It's got a nice lighter feel to it. Um, so if you don't own a, a bamboo Ken, I, I really highly recommend this one. It's a great shape. Uh, you're not gonna regret that. So that's gonna do it for now. And until the next one, later.